Well, the first thing you do is you take a piece of 4 by 2 and then you take it, draw the design that you need on it, and then you cut into a certain chunk that you need and then put it on the bandsaw, cut it out, and you put it together. We're at William Taylor Learning Centre. It's, um, it's a school for uh, students with severe behavioural needs. What really strikes me about Tony is given some really significant challenges in his life, he's one kid who shows like amazing resiliency and almost every day Tony comes in with a new story, something that happened in the community, something that happened at home that most people would, it would just absolutely blow them away. There's no way they'd be at work the next day. There's no way they'd be at school the next day. Tony, however, comes in, tells us a story with a smile on his face and goes about his day. It's pretty amazing. I met Tony through the volunteering here at the School for Brown Bagging. I was so interested in watching him do it because he's a very athletic, outgoing young man, and, but he had equal energy to make these sandwiches. And we, take, we make 30 sandwiches for kids and then we take them to the school and then we give them to the kids. It makes me feel good about myself. Brown Bagging for Calgary Kids has to pay for all the groceries. In our case, we don't have the funds. Our students receive a, a hot lunch and hot breakfast program, so we hardly have funds to share. However, they do fundraisers, and what happened was, at the beginning of September, I noticed in the Brown Bagging newsletter that the Prosser Foundation had said they would match all donations for October. That gave me an idea that we should sell chairs and stuff out of the shop for the, for the Brown Bagging and stuff. I was really touched by, by how um, Tony, who I knew worked on that chair for about a year and a half, he worked his butt off on it and wanted to give it, you know, to help raise money to feed the, the kids in Calgary. We are a school of 45 students. Our students raised a little over $2,100, so when it was matched by the Prosser Foundation, our donation came up to $4,400, something in that neighborhood. That's very impressive when you take a look at a school of 41 students. Because of Tony's idea, everyone else then wanted to help out as well. And really, one act turned into times 30. They saw how good Tony felt about himself, and, uh, and they wanted to feel the same. They wanted to give as well. <laughs> yeah, volunteer is good work. I felt like I was doing something for everybody, building something for everybody and helping other people. <laughs>